units. I've been taking a walk through the Jurassic, but what have I actually been walking on? Like if I was back 147 million, million years ago, what sort of environment would I be walking through? What we're standing on right now is a terrestrial floodplain. Okay. Uh, the Morrison was deposited in a terrestrial environment. So it would be rivers coming around. We would be in like a swampy area here. Um, and if you look up at these hillsides that we have around, you can see right. record of different depositional environments. So the stuff that we're standing in, which is smaller material littered with gravels and stuff, would be a lower energy delta environment than say one of those sandstone ledges that you can see, that would be a higher energy environment that's only depositing that grain of sand. So that's water moving fast, and this is water kind of meandering and moving yeah, slow? Yeah, this is water slowing down towards the end of the river as it's, as it's dumping its sediment load into the floodplain. And you can see we have different hills and stuff because that's where different streams and river environments were depositing. And what causes all those great colors, all those purples and grays and maroons? Yeah, the color that you get in a rock formation is really based on iron oxides and different right. minerals that are in the sediment the rock is made out of. So when you get great reds like that, you can see that you are in an iron rich environment. And the purples are a different kind of mineral or a different iron oxide that's causing that. Um, and often we look for fossils in dark black layers because black signifies that an area was anoxic or a low oxygen environment. So what's special about that? Does, does that mean that with like less oxygen, there's less like bacteria or things to right, exactly. eat the fossils or yeah. eat the dinosaurs before they're fossils? <laughs> exactly, exactly. In a low oxygen environment, you don't have the rapid decay that you would see in a swamp or someplace else. And even like the base level of swamps tend to be fairly anoxic because these decomposers are giving off CO2 mm -hmm. as they're undergoing that chemical process. So we look for low oxygen environments because they have lower decay and it's easier to preserve fossils and sometimes even soft tissues. Oh, that's great. Have you found any yeah. of that here? Not here, ah, unfortunately, <laughs> I wish. That would be yeah. really cool. Um, just bones here. But in other sites in the Morrison Formation, there have been some soft tissue preservation and that's when you see the feather dinos starting to appear. Some of those have come out of the Morrison. Oh, really? So that'd be like skin and like fluff and, and yeah, that sort of stuff. yeah, skin and little uh, like pinnate looking things that may have been primitive feathers. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, That's that great. would be really yeah. cool to find. We don't have any of that here, yeah, well, but that would be very cool. <laughs> There's always hope. Yeah. We get there. Absolutely. <laughs>